Hi friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping in. And if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subby friend. So I just wanna take a minute and apologize. I know I didn't put anything out at all last week. My aunt passed away and I did have to go to Texas for her funeral. I didn't have an opportunity to put anything up prior to leaving. And you know, that was about a 22 hour drive for me in Florida. But I will tell you, I did the whole thing, like no problem. Just stopping for like gas and, you know, food here and there. Drove the whole thing all the way through there and back. Today we are doing a video just talking about for badge reels, you know, when I would use epoxy versus when I would use UV resin and I just, you know, I was asked some questions about it. So I hope that it's helpful and I hope that you guys have a blessed and beautiful day and I'll see you later. All right, friends. So when we're talking about doing our badge reels and what we're going to use, there's a couple things that I look at. So you can you can do one or the other, or you can do a combination. You'll notice a lot of times I do a combination of resins. So this is my UV resin. So I like this resin rockers hard type. I've been given, you know, lots of different name brands that are also super good. I haven't tried yet because I still have a lot of this one. And then the epoxy is a part a and part b now this is i haven't used this one yet but this is the one i'm going to be trying next and the big thing with epoxy that you want to think about now on badge reels it doesn't matter but if you're using epoxy and you're going to be putting it on like tumblers or anything that will go near the mouth you want to make sure that you're using a high quality food grade. Now the other thing with the epoxy is you want to make sure that it's an epoxy that's not going to yellow. I used the Pro Marine for a long time and I unfortunately found that after a period of time I did get yellowing in products and now I feel bad because that means that pieces that I've given to people over time they yellow and I don't like that. Now this one is supposed to not yellow. I did use a hippie crafter that I do like but it's very funky on the mixing like it gets a lot of bubbles but also there would be times that I know for a fact I mixed it perfectly and it just didn't cure. So that's why I'm trying this one but I do like it like a lot of you know piece these pieces that I've done are with the hippie crafter so I do like it I just you know sometimes it became hit or miss for me so I'm gonna try this one and it had really good reviews and this is from glitter chimp where I get all of my glitter no affiliation I just shop with them a lot because I like them they have great service and they have a great variety of prices I mean of products okay so if you are trying to choose between using epoxy or UV resin, it's going to depend, okay? So now don't mind this. When I have extra epoxy, I just stick it in my little badge reels and I make these pieces so that I have them to do badge reels. So, but even though this is shallow, and that's why I brought this out. So even though this is shallow, I could not f use UV resin on this. And the reason is because of the color. So the light needs to be able to penetrate through the UV resin and anything with color, it just really can't do that well. Now, have I done it and then taken it out and put it under the light? Yes, but it's a mess, it's, 
doesn't give you a perfect product, you know, not the, not the thing to do. So if it is a dark base, like even something like this, as shallow as it is, it's not going to work. Now, something like this, this would absolutely work. The one thing I would say, though, is oh, dust in there. The one thing that I would say is that you need to do it in layers so the light can shine through. And one of the things I suggest is putting a piece of tin foil underneath it if it's something a little bit deeper to help reflect the light back up through. That definitely helps. But I would do this in stages. So I'd put some in, let it cure, put some more, let it cure, put some more, let it cure. And I've done as deep as an inch, you know, with no problem. I've used this one with UV resin, but honestly, things like this come out better using epoxy. So the epoxy takes much longer to cure. Of course, your UV resin, you're done in a long time. Now, UV resin is also great if you're trying to tack things on. So like this is a video I'll be putting up tomorrow, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you this. So like just tacking this onto here like UV resin is great. So like this is done in a combo. So this piece here is epoxy covered in UV resin tacked on with UV resin. Now, if you're doing like your acrylic pieces, right? So a lot of people like to take their acrylic pieces I, I can't even get this apart. A lot of people like to take their acrylic pieces. They'll put like initials, a name, maybe some glitter or paint on the back. And you can do either way. You can finish these off with UV resin. Works great. Or you can finish them off with epoxy. So this is one of those things. It's completely preference. So for me... It takes me much longer with epoxy because I like to do it twice. I'll cover it and then I like to dome it. But I will tell you, I get a much nicer dome with UV with epoxy than I do a UV resin. UV resin just happens to be quicker. So, you know, that's all just complete preference. Now, if I do these with, you know, epoxy, I do like put it up on top of something so that, you know, it doesn't drift onto the back side, you know, all of that kind of stuff. But either way. And so anything that you have that you're covering, that's the same thing. So if you're simply covering something, so like I use like these different planar resins, like with this. I could cover this with UV resin or I could cover it with epoxy. Now you can tack things down with epoxy, but it takes a long time for that epoxy to cure. And then you have the concern of it moving while you're waiting for it to cure. UV resin, you can tack things down. So for instance, you putting this onto here, and then you put it under, you know it's not gonna move. It's done in, you know, a quick minute. So this is, you know, UV resin. And you can see it's, you know, it's shiny and nice, but it's much more flat. Now, if I wanted a dome over here, I would get a much better dome using epoxy. Now, with epoxy, you can basically put anything in it. You can add glitter, alcohol, ink, mica powder, paint, anything in it. Um, whatever kinds of embellishment, like you can put anything in it. And if you're using alcohol with it though, like if you're, you could spray alcohol to get rid of the bubbles with the epoxy, alcohol needs to be greater than 
like 91, 92%. I use denatured alcohol myself. With the UV resin, UV resin using alcohol ink is very hit or miss. And you can't get the UV resin too out of consistency. So I have had paint work with the UV resin. I've also had paint not work with the UV resin. I have had alcohol ink tiny bits work with it. I've had alcohol ink not work with it. And that's why you can buy different colors of UV resin because it is harder to color. Now it colors great with mica powder and it colors great with glitter. And then the other thing with UV resin, so like I like to do the bubble method for making scales. And we use the bubble method, of course bubbles have water in them. So the UV resin will, because it's under the light, you can do that and it will dry that out and that little bit of water isn't going to mess up your product. However, you can't put any kind of water, like you could, you know, bubbles and stuff are not gonna work with your epoxy, you're really running the risk of completely messing up your product. So anything thick, anything, this is thin, but it's colored, anything, you know, really thick, I, any, you know, these are all colored. So I would do epoxy with them. You know, these thin things I could do UV resin if I if I wanted to uh, like this is a good one for UV resin if it's thicker you would need to do it in layers like this is see-through it's light and could you possibly do it if you put tin foil under there possibly but you would have to go in so many little layers otherwise you would have you know, yucky spots in between because it's so deep. So remember, light has to be able to penetrate in order to be able to use your UV resin. If the light can't penetrate, it's not going to cure. So that's it. I mean, quick and easy, uh, not, you know, not a lot of things to worry about with it. And I hope that was helpful. And I hope that you guys have a blessed and beautiful day, friends, and I'll see you later. Bye.